Is this the ultimate rig for the Lumix S52X? A few months back, I created a video about how I rig up my Lumix S52X for professional jobs, and I've since taken it up uh, another notch with this. So this is the Lumix S52X Cine Rig Base from Rigid Pro, and it basically replaces all the bits and bobs I had with my previous setup with essentially a more robust, unified body that mounts to the camera cage. So we have a, a nice V-mount battery plate built into the back of it. And then we've got four D-tap ports on the side and on the other side, we've got a power switch. Um, and then basically it kind of consists of two cheese plates, one at the top and one at the bottom, which give you a ton of mounting points, which are great for mounting top handles, monitors, accessories, audio interfaces, stuff like that. And then you've also got this sort of like soft fabric uh, side here, which just gently cradles and looks after the side monitor from the camera. The whole Cine rig basically attaches directly to the camera cage. Uh, so you have a bunch of screws that uh, secure it to the top and to the bottom of the cage. Unfortunately, it'll only mount to one specific cage. So it's the small rig black Mamba cage. It might put a few people off or you might have to purchase that in addition to whatever cage you already have. And the end result is you sort of end up with this compact Cine rig, uh, which is pretty similar to my Evo One actually in terms of form factor. It's a little bit smaller, a bit lighter. So I've been shooting with this now on a few jobs. And I think for the majority of cases, I prefer using this over my previous rig setup. Me personally, I prefer shooting on this kind of like compact Cinecam form factor, something that's a bit bigger, a bit more substantial, has a bit more bulk to it. I shoot a lot of handheld work and I like to attach a lot of accessories to the camera. So that's why something like this is particularly attractive to me. So I can already hear a bunch of you screaming uh, at the video now. Ed, I've got a Lumix S52X. It's a lovely, nice, portable hybrid camera. Why the hell would I want to go up and rig it into a bulky, chunky boy like this? Well, the great thing about having a small camera like this is that it gives you the flexibility, it gives you the choice. So when you want a small streamlined package, you can shoot it in a pretty bare bones setup, but you can also shoot with it fully rigged up in a configuration like I showed previously in the other video or with something like this. For me personally, when I'm shooting handheld. I do like a slightly heavier camera. I like to bulk it up a bit. I mean, the main problem for me with DSLRs is that they can be very lightweight and it can really affect the quality of handheld footage, sort of micro jitters and movements that you find with a lighter setup. The Lumix in-body stabilization is obviously excellent and goes a long way to smoothing some of those out, but it doesn't work super well under 30 millimeters unless you use the new e-stabilization mode. But again, that crops into the image, so you lose some of the benefit of shooting wide. But what I found with uh, shooting on heavier setups and when you bulk the camera out is that you can effectively disable the in-body stabilization when you're shooting below 30 millimeters. And you'd have to worry about the weird sort of jello and warping that you get. It just produces this much nicer, um, smoother handheld footage. So everything uh, will be linked in the description down below. We have the Rigid Pro Cine Rig base that's mounted to the camera cage. Then I'm using this small rig side handle. Uh, I just like using this for some added stability. Then we're connecting uh, the power cable that comes with the Rigid Pro. It comes with a USB type C cable that can go into the camera. So you can keep your Lumix battery in there and this cable will just keep everything charged. You can obviously also use a D-tap to dummy battery as well. Next, I'm attaching the battery. Uh, most recently, I've been using this awesome uh, small rig VB212 battery. It's a bit of a game changer, actually. It's much bigger than any other battery that I have. It is a bit heavier, but actually, I think it works quite well on this rig. The camera and the Cine rig is actually quite lightweight, so this balances everything out and adds some bulk to it, but also just the amount of charge you get in this battery. So I've been getting up to two days powering my Lumix S52X with this battery. It's got two D-taps, three USBs, two Type-C and one standard, and two one-pin connections. Uh, the battery has a great heads-up display. Uh, it gives you the runtime left in the battery, so it's great for monitoring how much power you have left and the runtime available. Next, attaching uh, the monitor. So we've got an Atomos Shinobi 7, and that's attached with uh, the Black Mamba top handle, uh, and then just an ARRI locking pin uh, monitor mount from Small Rig. And next we've got uh, power and HDMI cables for the monitor. 
I've really recently uh, just switched to using these coiled cables, link in the description down below. I used to use the sort of cheap normal wires. Uh, people used to mock me on social media when I posted my rigs because they looked really messy. So I finally uh, bit the bullet and got these. They just keep everything a lot more tidy, a lot more organized. You'll also notice I'm running all the cables sort of inside the cavity between the camera and the rig. Again, just helps keep things tidy and organized. And then if I'm shooting interviews, I prefer to record audio externally. So I use a Zoom F3 and that just mounts to the side there, it gives me two XLRs uh, and then I'll just clap sync the audio uh, and match it in post. Uh, and I can just power that Zoom F3 off USB from the battery. And then we're just gonna add my Bright Tangerine Misfit Atom uh, map box and that uses my format high-tech filters ND filters and diffusion filters and that's my rig uh, I think it looks a lot more solid a lot neater a lot more streamlined than my previous iteration uh, and I guess um, because of that it looks a lot more professional but yeah it looks like a, a sort of a purpose-built cinecam so the cost of this is pretty reasonable. I think when you weigh it up with the cost of buying sort of all of these separate elements as individual pieces, so power plates, other bits of rigging, um, cheese plates and stuff like that, uh, considering that this is custom made for your camera, it's very tight and secure and everything just sort of works as a cohesive package. Relative to using that kind of slightly more jangly setup that I was using before, this just offers a lot more convenience and efficiency, but most of all it just looks a bit neater as well and it looks more professional. Being able to rig your camera up into something that looks you know, a little bit more premium, a little more expensive can be really important for certain people. We all know that the Lumix cameras are capable of creating some stunning images, but sometimes if you rock up to a certain shoot and you turn up with a tiny little DSLR and you're charging a lot of money, it doesn't always look the part, even if the images that you're pulling off that camera do. You know, this thing looks much more similar to my EVA One than the tiny bare bones S5 2X on its own. So, you know, for some people that won't matter, for other people, I think it will. You know, and <laughs> this thing is true because uh, about two months ago, I did have a professional shoot. I had my Lumix S5 2X uh, mounted next to my Red Komodo, a camera that is like four times more expensive when it's all rigged up. And the thief had the choice of the two cameras and they went for the Lumix S5 2X with the Rigid Pro. So things I don't like about the Rigid Pro that I think could be improved on. The connectivity on it could be improved a little bit. So we have got four D taps, which is amazing, but I would have been happy to sacrifice two D taps for maybe a few USB connections. Um, a lot of accessories now um, can easily be powered by USB wires and they're pretty ubiquitous. Rigid Pro are releasing a top handle for this unit. I wish it shipped natively with this. It would feel more like a sort of all-in-one unified product that way. Um, the top handle I use is all right, but looking at the one online from Rigid Pro, it does look awesome and the sort of thing I would prefer. I know keeping compatibility with just a single cage, a small rig black Mamba cage, uh, keeps the design simple and unified and obviously keeps the cost down because they can bulk produce them. But designing it in some way that would allow great flexibility, maybe with some of the other small rig cages or other cages, um, would be amazing. It's not exactly a deal breaker. The cost of these cages is around 60, 70 quid. But I think if you'd already invested in a different cage and then you wanted to use this setup, it is an additional cost that you have to factor in. I'd be really interested as well to know down in the comments down below what you think of stuff like this. Um, I am really happy that they have made a Lumix S5 2X edition. I think they've just made a GH7 edition as well. For me, um, one unified body where I can mount all my accessories to is far better than sort of remembering all the other bits and bobs I was using previously. I don't really like that. It feels scatty, um, bits can break, you can forget bits, um, and they sort of, they're not as stable as a unified body like this. Um, and it just feels a lot more solid. It feels a lot more professional and neater, which I don't know, does that affect the way you work and shoot? I think it probably does on a subconscious level. So that's it. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Of course, if you like this, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you're not, consider subscribing to the channel. Plenty of Lumix based content across the channel. So if you haven't seen any of the other videos, do take some time and have a perusal of everything else in my library. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.